Hello and um, welcome to Bella's Crafty Cards. I'm Bella and today we're going to be making another Christmas card but this time this one's going to be in a two part um, because there's going to be um, a bit of colouring to do. So I'm going to bring in the stamp I'm going to be using and then we'll just crack on with it. Okay um, and it's a popcorn bear uh, from Crafters Companions. Okay, and because he's quite large, I've got my large. So here I have some um, super smooth white card. And I have my memento ink, because I'm going to be colouring in with my Copic markers. So I'm just going to stamp him out. Him. There. Really, really press on to get an even coverage and then take it off. And there he is, absolutely lovely. Now we're going to start colouring him. Like I said, I've actually got no colours organised from this and this is what I store my Copics in. I absolutely love my Copics. Um, I do love my Pro Markers as well, which I have a vast collection of them as well. But at the moment, I actually think that my Copics are taking over my Pro Markers at the moment. Um, I just love them. The way the, um, the flow is absolutely amazing. So now I'm just going to be pulling some colours out. Um, some ones that I think might look nice. Some shades of brown. And then I'm going to see what I can come up with. Now, I've got a selection of browns here. Uh, I'll just run through the colours. I've got E45, which is dark bark. I have E47, which is dark brown. I have E29, which is burnt umber. E71, which is champagne. Let's just pull that one to one side because you'll uh, I'll explain why in a minute. I've got E33 which is sand and I've got E31 which is brick beige. Okay, now this one I've pulled out to one side is actually an E51 which is milky white. Now I tend to use these um, for colouring faces and skin. Um, but they actually, you, this colour works really, really well when you're using your browns. So, I'm just going to pull them off to one side. Now, playing with my colours at the bottom um, while I'm going along. And I think I'm going to start off with my E31, which is my brick beige. Now, don't forget, you, he's only got a small area on his face. So you don't want to make him too dark. I'm just going to go around the edges like this. Where you think darker patches would be. Keep going. Now as you can see, I'm not colouring. I'm actually tapping. Um, I th that's why I absolutely love the Copic markers. Um, we'll do his hands. I was unsure whether or not I was actually going to put... Uh, gloves on him but I don't think I will and his other one now don't forget we've got popcorn bear here dressed as Father Christmas so we know that there's going to be a lot of reds and whites joined in with this picture so I'll get them sorted shortly So as you can see, I'm just dabbing on the colour. I'm not making it perfect. I'm going to do his little ears. Like so. And all I've done is I've just gone round the edges. Like so. Like that. Okay, and now I'm going to use the E33 which is um, sand. I'm just going to go... This would be my shadowing, shadowing um, colour. 
I'm just going to go up where I know it's going to be darker, like so, and around the bottom here, like that. And it's going to be dark here, because obviously of where his sleeves are, like so, just across the top of his feet there, because of where the bottom of his coat is. Um, yeah, and because he's got a beard, I'm actually just going to go around the bottom end as well. Okay, I'm going to go back with my E31 and just go over that, bringing it down a touch. Just to blend it in. Just going to go over where I've just done that dark shade, possibly a little bit just around this side, and then just over his feet. I'm not being too precise because each and every single person has their own way of colouring. Now I'm now going to use my E51, which is my milky white. Now. I'm just going to go all the way over everything I've coloured like that. Just bringing everything together. There we go. There's him all nice and coloured in. I think using the, the E51, the Milky White, it actually brings um, depth into it because when colouring a bear, he's not all one shade. Even on the light areas, if you look at it carefully, it is all different shades. So there's the bear coloured in. Okay, I'm now going to go on to the red. And I've got here R46, which is just strong red. I'm not going to do any shadowing here, I'm just going to go all the way over where I know his red little Santa outfit would be. Very, very lightly. And because these are an alcohol pen, they blend together really, really well. Um, I'm not giving you any of them. Um, colouring lines as you know as you would get with normal felt tips. Like so. So there's his hat done. And we've got his jacket here. Because of the marks on the stamp itself when you've inked it, you know roughly where his jacket is going to be. Just do this bit here. Up to his moustache, sorry, up to his beard. Like so. And then if we look carefully, where the bag is here, there's just a little bit there. So I'm just going to do that little bit there. Okay. I'm going to be using E47, which is dark brown, and E71, which is champagne. Okay. 
so I'm going to use obviously the darkest one as my shadow point now as I did with his face I did a light then a dark and then went over it I'm just going to do a dark here so I'm going to I might alter this slightly no I don't think I will put him in the bag so I'm just going to Now when using, oh excuse me, when using Copics or Pro Markers, basically the lines that are created on the stamp are where the shadow lines would be. So that's where you would put your darkest colour. That's the way I always remember. Always follow the stamp because that's just giving it the movement. But what you need to do is don't forget is you're going to go around some of the edges as well like so it just gives your bag a little bit of depth and now I'm just going to carefully suss out which is part of the bag on the inside because that is against him that will be all dark like so I'm going to do the same on the other side And then I'm just going to go over in my E71, which is my champagne, even over the dark that I've just done, because it will just bleed out some of the colour that's already there and make it blend. So I'm just going to go all the way over. So, and I'm just going to go over this bit here. So there's that side, and just do the other side because he's actually carrying two bags. And in fact, I messed up because this bottom section here that is the bag from one hand, and then this bit on this side which I've coloured over in red, which is a bit silly of me, is the bag on the other side. I'm just now I'm going to just go over again, same colour as the, the other side, to blend it in. And there we have that bit coloured. Okay, there we have this image now coloured in and I'm just going to grab a pink, I don't know which pink colour I've got, but RV10 which is pale pink and I'm just going to colour in his ears, just a little bit on his ears, like that, put that away now. Okay, now here I've got uh, G05 which is emerald green and I'm just going to do these holly leaves. Okay, and I'm just going to get my dark brown again, my E45, and I'm just going to do these stems, like so. And I'm just going to get my red again, my R46, I'm just going to colour that the berry. Now I'm going to concentrate on this. Now I think this is a penguin so I'm going to get 
um, my C7 which is my cool grey number 7 because I don't want him to be black black because black's too harsh I'm just going to colour him in his belly and probably a little bit under there I can never remember what colour penguins are never know which of the white bellies, black bellies I'm going to grab my YR04 which is chrome orange I'm just going to colour in his nose let say I've left a leaf just spotted it here hiding like so ok and there's the image coloured in besides the white I'm just going to put these on here. Now you might have seen me using these before, um, the fabric paints um, and I know it sounds silly why you're using fabric paints on cards but believe it or not it gives it a lovely textured finish. So which one I'm going to use? Uh, this is the white pearlescent um, one so I'm just going to use this Clean off the end, it's a bit, a bit grubby, and we'll see if it comes out. And then, all you're going to do is you're basically just going to colour with it in so I'm just going to keep colouring in, it's like the bauble of his hat, and I'm actually pouncing on it. I'm going to do obviously the fur of his jacket like so and his beard There on his arm. And his other arm. On top of the bag. And then the bottom of his jacket. Right, so now I'm just going to stop the camera for a moment while I just go and blast that with um, my heat gun. It just sets it, so I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, there we have it now. I'll just turn him around so you can see it. There we have him now, all coloured in, and I've heat set this. It'll still move because it's not fully dry yet. Um, so yeah so if you join me next time you'll see what we're going to be doing with this image